My name is Chris. I'm here at VIP Mazda at the Fraser Valley Auto Mall in beautiful British Columbia. I am one of the sales and lease representatives here. Now I'm here today to give you a small segment on the comparison to a 2017 Mazda 6 to a 2018 Mazda 6. Uh, we're going to go through some of the differences that uh, they have done with, uh, with the design of the, the outer shell. If you can look right off the bat you can see the front end is totally been changed compared to the 17 to the 18 here now one of the big noticeable difference is the front grille now the other things that are may not seem as important but to us it is important and to you guys too in the long run will be the design is is the design of the front bumper you can see in the 2017 they have the design of it is more flat. Normally what it does is it actually has more restriction for air. Now what they did is they took out the fog lights in these in the 2018s and they designed them more sleek. So this way there's more airflow. In the long run it does help you with fuel economy as well and the aesthetics of the, of the vehicle itself. Now also they have the front sensors in this one. Now this particular model is Mazda 6 2018 Signature Edition, which is the high-end model. That model there we have is a 2017 Mazda 6 GSL model. Some of the things in the outside we're gonna compare is the wheels itself have been changed compared to the 17 models. If you compare apples to apples as far as GT to GT, they all have the same kind of 19-inch alloy wheels, but on the 17 ones, they were a little bit different as far as the looks go. Now, coming to here, the other things they've changed compared to the 17 to the 18 is the actual windshield itself. Now, they have, they have actually put a wiper de-icer, and what it does is it actually melts the ice and snow that's on the, on the windshield in the wintertime to make it a lot easier for uh, visibility and uh, to clean out the windshield so you're not out there scraping like crazy in the wintertime. Also, they've designed the hood here, the way it is, the wipers are more recessed downwards to give you more airflow where you're not restricted. Again, just similar thing that they did with the bumper in the front. The back hasn't changed too much, but again, just like they did with the front, as far as sleek lines and airflow, they've designed the back here with less restriction. They also have rear sensors as well mounted on. And because if you go to the 17s, it's a little bit different as far as the exhaust goes. You got bigger pipes in there compared to 17, which you got this smaller pipe. And if you look here, I know it might be a little hard to see, but here they designed it where it's plastic with a painted bumper. Now there, it's all one piece. Now, a few things different in here, which is they have the Sen wood on the signature model with the heater controls, more, more sleek look, not as big and bulky. Now the screen itself, they put an eight inch screen in the vehicle now. With the driver's side, you can see actually what they've done too in the 2018, they have increased the size of the cluster. What this is now, they put a seven inch cluster in there to make it a lot easier for you to be able to uh, visually see your speed. Now, with that, they also, with the signature model now, they have started to put a heads up display up in the windshield. What it does is that actually reflects onto the windshield, your speed, your blind spot monitoring, your lane departure warning, all the iActive safety sensors will show up on the windshield. As far as the, um, the some of the other options and features now, the mirror itself too has been changed. It doesn't have the outer plastic trim on it now. It's more sleek and it, there's more mirror showing now. Uh, you got all your f features for your uh, garage door openers right here. Now, the other thing that is very nice in the signature model, they put a suede dash in here. The other big thing from a 17 to an 18, as far as the inside goes, they have put cool down seats. Now, the way it works, it's not like just blowing air out of the seat. What it is, is it actually, the, the system, the way it works, it, they actually remove the hot air from the seats to make it more comfortable for you for your drive. Here we are gonna have a look at one of the major changes to the vehicle. 
The 2017s came with a 2.5 liter, 187 horsepower, four cylinder. Now they have came out with a signature edition and a GT edition that comes with a 2.5 liter turbo engine with about 250 horsepower when you're using about the 93 octane fuel and about uh, 227 at when you're using regular 87 uh, octane fuel. Now that engine there pulls about 310 pounds of torque. Now horsepower compared to the 17 to the 18 is quite a bit different because that one has about 187 horsepower. This here has about 250 horsepower. So you can see the big difference that, that they've made. Now this one here is the 2.5 liter, 187 horsepower engine, four cylinder. And in just a glance, there's not too much difference. Certain things are different. The engine itself is pushed a little bit further back because of the weight. It distributes the weight a little better. Certain things have been mounted differently to make it more easy and accessible to, uh, uh, to do maintenance on it. What they did is too is um, the door, the hood hinges. They actually put bigger hood hinges and removed certain dampeners that they had as far as the, the 17 goes to make it more sturdy. And if you look at the hinges, they're a lot smaller. That is an, uh, an improvement as far as uh, safety goes. Now, if you notice the 2018, this being a signature model, top of the line model, you don't see any fog lights. Now, the thing what they did in this model now, with this year, is instead of adding holes and putting fog lights down the bottom, they actually integrated it right with the headlights. So the fog lights are actually with the headlights now. And which again makes it a more sleek. The new models, they come with a 360 degree camera now. What it does is it displays on your screen, the eight inch screen, when you put it in, the, when you have it out, there's actually a feature that you can turn it on or off manually. And when it is on, you can have a look and it'll show you a 360 degree view of the vehicle. So you can tell if there's anybody behind you or beside you when you're getting out of a parking spot, uh, which is very handy if you don't want to get into an accident. We'd love to see you here at VIP Mazda. Come down and take one out for a test drive and see uh, how you like it and compare the difference. You won't be disappointed, I can tell you that.